there, it's Sandy, and last week I had leftover gold paint, and I mentioned at the end of the video I was going to try to do something with it, and I was debating what to do. I wanted to use it for a big splashy effect because this paint is so beautiful, and I put it into another container so I could mix it with a good enough amount of water that I could really get the paint to move because during the time between when I squeezed it onto my tile and got busy working, it had dried pretty not super thick or anything, but thick enough that it needed a lot of water. So I took a piece of Tomo River paper and attached it to a board so it wouldn't move and then started applying the paint. I'm using a baby wipe so it's got moisture in it and just splooging it around on the page. You could cut this down to the size you need, but I kind of know about what a six by eight piece is. So I know how big the borders need to be. Just go bigger than that if you're using a full size sheet like me. And I spread it around and then I took any extra, like the extra that was on the brush, the extra that was in the bowl, and started just pouncing it on with the same baby wipe so I could get some areas that were really dense with the gold color and some that were thinner. And then I let it go. I just left it to sit overnight and got back to it the next day. And what I ended up doing was taking a white gel pen. You could take any kind of pen you want and just start doodling on it. And since we're in the fall season, I've been really into leaves and that sort of thing. So I thought this would be a really great page to express some gratitude with. So I ended up just drawing leaves all over the whole thing. Now you could do this with whatever your favorite color is in the background or a favorite color that's on your palette that you want to clean it off, but you don't want to waste the paint. Then do something like this. Just make a background out of it. Save it for later when you feel like you've got time or a purpose in doodling something. And then you can create a tip in later on with that page or you can do an art journal page with it. Lots of different things you could do but at least it gets you to use the paint before cleaning off the surface that you're trying to reuse for something else. And this was a really great way to do it. Acrylic paint does take a little bit longer to dry and you don't want to heat set it necessarily because it will bubble. So I just let it dry overnight and it was real easy to draw over top of it with a Signo Univol gel pen and just covered the entire thing 100% with leaves all over the place. And then the next day, when I was doing my devotional time, I came across a psalm that I thought I would like to journal, and it was one that didn't come with automatic imagery either. So I thought, oh, that's going to be perfect for this. So I wrote out some of the phrases in the psalm that really spoke to me, just writing it straight across through some of the blank spots, because there were a few empty spots in my doodling, as well as right over some of the leaves. If you're trying to do any secret journaling where you don't want anybody else just pick up your Bible and read something very personal. This would be a great way to hide those kinds of things. So you can write it very small inside some of the leaves, that sort of thing, so that you're writing it out, but you're not writing it in a way that other people might be able to kind of get all up in your neighborhood <laughs> over whatever it is that you're writing. And it came out really beautifully. So just a really simple, quick idea for you today. I will see you again next week with another Bible journaling video. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye.